Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Justin. I'm Gabe. And I'm the intern. And you're watching episode, I think, 114 of Dang It Podcast. This episode, um, not, not really much streamlined like topic or anything. We're just going to be us talking. Because I think it's kind of weird with discussions, dang it, now that it's like a thing. And so a lot of the things that we would normally talk about, like pop culture stuff, is now like saved for that. Such so as Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Uh, t- Why do you call it that? I don't know. Why? Slice by it's just like I want to beat you with the walking stick. <laughs> with the walking stick. I know it's one of those unnecessary things because like Suicide Squad doesn't have any like extra syllables in it. But for some reason, I just shorten it out to Slice Squad, just cause. I like it. I don't. I like it. I don't. I hate you. Are you ready for the Slice Squad too? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> beat us up both with the walking stick. Well, how would you shorten Suicide Squad for the sequel? You don't Just shorten it. That's why Squad Uncut. <laughs> yeah. I don't beat him. It's called SS the movie. SS the movie. <laughs> you don't see any problem with that. No. <laughs> oh, I get it because it's, it's gonna, they're going to confuse people with the Chevy car. So the Chevy what? SS, they're going to be like. That's not where I was going with that. <laughs> you see no problem with calling it that. SS the movie. Oh, uh, shoot, but yeah, the whole discussions, uh, dang it, and the dang podcast is, now that they're separate things, it's definitely interesting. But TLDR about the movie, it was okay. It was fun. And that's it. It was a movie. It was a movie. Just I liked like, it. It was like interesting. Batman. It's okay. Yeah, as Stephen said, it's okay. And when Stephen said, it's okay, it may not be okay, but, you know, you feel good about it. It's okay. <laughs> But yeah, what have you guys been up to since uh, last time? Okay. <laughs> last time. Last time. Last time we did a podcast. Last time we, uh, we I showed you guys, um, I showed you guys, um, the Comic-Con stuff. I'm souvenirs. So and, uh, yeah, I just showed you guys, like, the Comic-Con stuff. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Was then, that last week's? Yeah, that was last week's. August 3rd. What is today? Today is, uh, August the 7th. Seven. Yeah. 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 What? Has someone just like come in like erase like the memory of a week for you? Someone like been tampering with your memories? I think so. I don't think Gary remembers that because he was like he just got off work. You get probably. I did just get off work. Yeah, yeah, you're too like fixed in. I was fucking tired and I was like nose deep in my phone, but uh, fuck, I do remember all that shit that you had the MTV fucking things. Yeah, that was my favorite thing that you had. Yeah, the chair. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, just, oh, yeah, the favorite things, just like the, in general. The, the MTV batons. Oh, yeah, yeah, those are really cool. I got two of them this time. You did get two of them. We need more. Yeah, we got three now. Let's see. You, me, Steven, Anaya, Nolan, Seth, wait. You, me, Anaya, Nolan, Steven, Sefi, Miranda, the intern. <laughs> the intern. David. Well, this I remember before David. Right. <laughs> There's one more. We should have one more. Did you count Nolan in? No. Yeah. You yeah, count Nolan. You, me, Nolan, Anaya, Stephen. Stephen. And then Selfie. Miranda, Seth, him, David. Why don't we have ten? Well, we did, but never showed his face. You said Miranda? Yeah, yeah Miranda... Yeah, like, uh... Like Sefi. We don't yeah, need no right. ten. So why, don't, <laughs> why don't we have ten? Because... Because we had nine people before. Yeah. Because we had two... No. We had eight before. Because we had two teams of five, but two out of those five were you and me. Yeah. So it was three on each other team. For those of you who don't really understand what's going on, Gabe's just kind of going by the teams. Team, team A and Team 1. Uh, I think, what, what was it? Team A. That was like the original, the OG. Yeah. That was like myself, you, Sefi, David, Kristoff. And that was it. Yeah. And Christoph. Then there, and then there's Team One, which was you, me, Steven, and Anaya, Anaya, Nolan. Nolan. And now we have. Now we got Trey. Trey so. And Miranda. Okay, so. Because Kristoff isn't here, we don't have 10. Yeah. Which reminds me, I saw that fucker again two days ago. 
Jesus Christ. What did you say? I didn't, t- I didn't tell him anything. I, uh, I just saw, gotta give him a look. I, uh, yeah, I was giving him, I was staring him down. And because I saw, I saw a kid in line. I was like, he looks familiar. <coughs> and I look in the distance and I saw another guy and I was like, he looks so familiar. Is that Kristoff? But I didn't want to be like, man, that black guy sure looks like Kristoff. <laughs> okay. So I just kept, I kept like looking back at him. And then he turned and looked at me and he's right there. And I was like, it is Kristoff. And I was like, and that's Adam. Adam, go kick your brother in the nuts. So it was just like a stare down. Yeah. But in I was like, <laughs> oh my god, I don't have any opinions about Kristoff right now. I'm just like, who? <laughs> Memory wiped. But yeah, so fuck. We need, we need another person. Yeah, we need. A, you just gotta take a random person. Off the street now. To Applications accepted. It's Corn Thrasher. Our one and only Patreon. Well, if I can God bless. If you want, I can find one. I don't trust you, Steve. I'm sorry. Why not? It'll be a girl. It'll be Jessica. No. I know it. I know it's I Jessica. know more than one girl. Your mom doesn't count, and neither no. do your sisters. <laughs> no, none of them. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I, I feel there's only four women you know, Stephen. Pictures or it didn't happen. Okay, pictures with you in them with them. You can't just creep Instagram and Snapchat and say, I know her. I have a contact list, asshole. And? I can, go on, I can go on Tinder right now, re-download the admin, find mm. numbers on there. <laughs> Steve, you probably just Wait, why are you on Tinder, Gabe? I'm not. Oh. I said I could re-download Seven. the app. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. As far as like actually recruiting well, another member, of course that has to be like something very voluntary. They have to really love it just because they want to be a part of it. Which reminds, kind of like Trey. Which reminds me, we actually need for, for what I was planning. We need one more member and seven more wands, and we could have a choreographed dance of five and five. I think that'd, that'd be really cool. That would be fun. That would be cool. However, mm. what else we could do? Is get two more people and have three teams. Mm. Team one A and Alpha. Ooh, how many more of these like leading team like numbers in letters can we go for? <laughs> However many times I can make a new list. Okay. Of lists. Yeah, because if if we had B two or Beta, then that means. That one team is below the other. Right. So it's like, we don't want that. We want, like, leading teams so they have equal power. Yeah. Except Kristoff's gone. But damn it. Yeah. Kristoff, you gotta come back to us. Come on. Like, I mean, means, at least, just yeah. text us sometime. It means, Please. That means Team A is lacking a member. Yeah. Which means for Team 1 and Team 1, we need, we need to kill off a member. Yeah. Okay. He's not in Team 1. Yeah, he's kind of like a freelancer. Yeah, if we get one more person, we're gonna have team. We need alpha. we need another new person. It, it would, no, not team alpha. It'd be team intern. Team intern. <laughs> yeah, team it, would, it would be Tracian, Miranda, and then the new person. Yeah, hmm. just three people. Yeah, yeah. Each team is three people plus us two. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of how it came down to now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that could work. And they would always be below every other team. I'd be so down to do some kind of choreographs thing. You would forever be an intern. I know, right? I'm never leaving We'd be this like, spot. Well, Miranda's technically the first intern, if we call it that. If she's placed over there. Yeah, but she gets paid benefits. Yeah. <laughs> As I was going to say, what paid benefits? But you're like, yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gabe, uh, earlier you showed me and Steven... Uh, your uh, hamster elevator. Yes. I spent nine hours of my life creating an elevator for Tito. Um, it's pretty impressive, it actually. It only goes down. Well, it, goes up. Goes it goes up. It's like it's set up so like weight pulls it down, but yeah. it'll pull itself back up. Because he, he, has, he has a ladder that he climbs to get to the second story of his little enclosure. And before, he would either jump down or precariously climb down the ladder. And so I was like, I'm going to make a safer way for him to get down. And so I dedicated nine hours of my life to creating an elevator based off of weight. 
and to safely lower him down and then return itself back to its originating position. It's pretty impressive. And now I can never like erase the image of me like just doing my nine hour shift in like in a parallel you working on that elevator. It's so weird to think about. But uh what was I gonna go with that? Oh nothing really, really. It's just that was a really cool thing to see. Yeah, um what's it called? Uh probably later on I'll take a picture of it. Hmm. And if I can, I'll probably record it and we could splice it in here. And if not, we can cut this entire audio part out. Because if you look, as soon as he walks on, is you see it drop. And whenever he decides to jump off, it'll return back to its originating position. That's cool. Using a high frequency whip. <laughs> so yeah, if I don't get a recording of him using it, all of that audio could be cut out because it, it portrays to absolutely nothing. Mm. People, people, people can dream. I can imagine it. Imagination. <laughs> exactly. What's in the box? Oh yeah, like Whatever so. Teal can actually see that far to see the elevator. Could yeah. he? Okay. Because I, you told me that like they, they are, they're, they're extremely nearsighted. Yeah. How frequently does Tito use it? All the time. All the time. He has to use it at least once a day to get his food. Oh, so he? It's mandatory. Yeah. Up until the point to where he like knows that it's there and he could always use it. Because when I first did it, he used it a lot, but I didn't have the like a the how you saw the reflector on there, mm -hmm. that wasn't there. And so when he would climb onto it, it would sway. And there was about two times when he like try and get on, and when he decided to like jump his back feet to try and stand all the way on, he'd fall off and just fall. Yikes! <laughs> and so he just kind of like doesn't like it. Okay. It's mm -hmm. not safe enough. And so. I'm now done. he's on. Now he's on strike. He's demanding more uh, safer uh, ways to get to his home. Yeah, he's going on strike. There's actually a lot of things that he does with his little enclosure. Cause, uh, you know, my entertainment center how I had like the slit in the middle. Mm. I put his uh, chew log up there, and I made his little hideaway his um, coconut. Yeah. I put it to where it won't move. That way he can climb up it and then go into his go into that enclosure. Mm. He doesn't do that. No. no, he just props himself up on his hind legs, reaches, and does a pull up up there. Shit! And I'm just like, there's an easier way, Tito. He said, I don't do the easy way. <laughs> but he, he just doesn't care. Yeah, it's so interesting. I'd love to because I, I know like it's always interesting to like observe cats and dogs. What about a hamster? They're fun because they, when they're active, they're really active. They always explore and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. One time uh, he freaked me out because I was getting like uh, I think it was, like the the hatchet from Gabriel's room. I just see this bag moving. Like, what the fuck? Also, here's a picture of a yawning hamster. It's cute, but yeah. Should, but I, <laughs> I saw it and I was like, Jesus, that's terrifying. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He's yawning. Where's his mouth? Right there. Yeah, you don't see it. God, someone's like really nearsighted. You need no, no glasses, right? bro. That's a mouth. That's Tito yawning. Yeah. He's like, fuck, I just got up. Yeah, I, it was like that. Because, <laughs> like, I moved his thing around. Yeah. And I took a picture, but the shutter sound was on, so it, like, startled him, and he turned around to find out what it was. And he's yawning. Still yawning. And, he, and, he, and I was like, ugh. Click. <laughs> Dude, like, archery, like, test. Uh, Tito versus Trey. Who'd win? Tito. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have confidence in yourself. <laughs> oh. Shoot. I, uh, there I, was, I got him a saucer as well. Yeah. Not trying to get him to run on it. But he didn't want to, so I was like, run, Tito. And so I just kept spinning it. Dude, uh, uh, one of the Rusty podcasts, they were talking about like videos of the campsters like, running on those things. Yeah. And how like, two of them running on the same time is the funniest thing. Dude. The funniest is when they have a really big wheel with mice, and there's one running to shit on it, and there's one right where the axis is, and so it's just spinning in a really tight <laughs> circle, trying to figure out what where life went wrong. <laughs> That's so funny. You're supposed to run on it. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I am. A, I am not. It's just kind of like another like. I'm not happy running. with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I like ran on like. A human-sized one before. 
But yeah. Well, not those. Just like actual vertical ones. Also, I have a picture of Michael with no neck. Just like out of nowhere? Alright. Because I was watching uh, On the Spot. Oh, uh, okay. I haven't really watched On Spot lately. I know it's fun. It's definitely fun to watch, but mm, it's time. Yeah, speaking of which, I've been finding it a little bit harder to like edit videos just because of like, my new job. Because mm-hmm. like, well, I like work Monday through Thursday with a guaranteed nine hours, and like every other Friday I get off, and like when I, when I'm not off, it's just like, eight hours. But it's still like, I don't know, it just kind of frustrates me that I don't really get a lot done. I can get three videos out, like two gameplays and like one discussion. The discussion takes a little bit longer. But that's it. Yeah, but otherwise I only have time to get those things things out and then go straight to bed, which is kind of frustrating. But I mean. That's kind of how it is now. Yeah. I just kind of wish I had more time in the day. I do 12 hour shifts, but... Yikes. Yeah, it sucks while it's stressful. I just... I found myself, like, thinking, like, if I just had, like, three more hours in a day, yeah. then I'll feel I'll feel totally comfortable with it. Yeah. That's but why. But it's, like, we only got 24 hours. I know, right? This is... I'm like, dude, I work half my life, like, in a day. Well, make the earth spin slower. I wish I could do that. I know, right? Let's all run right now. We run the opposite direction. <laughs> we'd, we'd mess the entire solar system up. <laughs> I don't know how that would be, but okay. Well, I mean, God, I guess like just... we're not gonna collide with any other planets for sure because you know they're all on their own. Probably way. we fuck up and run the other way, and we make it go faster instead <laughs> of slower. Whoops! And it's kind we... of the whole hamster thing. <laughs> and then we get Rick and Morty into this shit. Dude. Oh, Rick, oh, Rick, what are we gonna do? We're, the Earth is spinning a little faster. Morty, those damn kids, Morty. They were running the opposite direction in the end. <laughs> they actually ran away. God, your guys' Rick and Morty impressionations are absolutely horrid. I know. No, I, 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 I like Nolan's. <laughs> They're yeah. funny. I also like his DDD impressions. King DDD. Uh, so funny. Um, what else is there to talk about? I don't know, like, I guess for me, like, it's just something, it's just a process I gotta figure out. Because I, I can only make time for, to make certain types of videos. Good so sk- skits are almost out of the question at this point, so I gotta make sure, I, I plan ahead when I do, like, our, uh, Final Fantasy XV parody thing. So hey, Final Fantasy XV. Hey, I'm actually wearing the shirt, I was wearing it. We're doing a Let's Play today. Oh, that's something I could talk about, too, is, um... Uh... <laughs> oh, you're showing more hand scooters running on wheels? Oh, I like how they're just, like, joining... Oh! <laughs> I like how they're tag-teaming it now. Oh, you go! Oh! Oh, you go! Uh, that's that's the, a change for you guys, that's the design? but... It's so funny. I'm pretty sure if you just like look up hamsters on wheels. I like they just run. They don't just walk off. Wait, why do you hop back on? Yeah, because they like it. Yeah. Oh. They totally dig it. Hamsters, uh, God, how far do they go in a night? I think it's... They travel... I think it's, it's five miles a night. Five miles a night? Yeah. These guys are crazy. Dude, they do more walking than I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one just got knocked and out. And so, it's essential for their health that they have like... Either a saucer or a wheel. Yeah. Just gotta make sure they're in shape. Yeah, just look up hamster on a flying saucer and it's the first video. It's great. But I yeah. Need, um, I, need, need, I need a pizza. Uh, I hardly believe there's any like... Domino's is closing in four minutes or six minutes. <laughs> do, they do, do they do delivery at this time? I think so. Steven, I think you want to get on that if you really want one. Uh, but I also have to watch out for your, how much you pay for. Just watch out for pricing. But yeah, um, what was I gonna talk? Oh yeah, the Let's Play thing. Free one, uh, I don't feel like it. Right I actually did have pizza. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, let's just, just go right back to running. You bring in the the what's it called? The Anyway. The thing and you get free pizza. Look how he's just running with him on it. He's just, yeah, that's it. <laughs> he's just like... I'm, that's the best one. It looks like, like, yeah, he's hopping over. Yeah. Ah! That's so great. But, uh, yeah. 
for Let's Plays, uh, David was house sitting, and so I, I traveled over to said location. Yeah. A certain distance, like it's farther away now. Undisclosed. Undisclosed location. It was pretty far. Actually, traffic was really bad, but that's a, another story. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. It was like it was a really nice house for sure. Mm -hmm. And what was really cool about it was that it wasn't like, it wasn't his house. And there was no one else except for him and I. And so we were able to yell. Well, not really yell too much, because we didn't. But it just felt more freeing that we were able to, like, speak however loud as we could, even though we really didn't. It didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. But. All right, Steven. <laughs> you got a better story? No, I'm saying, well, how come you didn't be loud, man? I don't know. Like, I, I'm pretty sure we were. It's just like. How loud. come you're never loud when you're alone, Steven? I am. Boo. I am. Boo. Because he's fucking bitches. When I play video games, I'm loud. Boo. No, you're not. It's a, it's a, yeah, because I rage a lot. Well, I don't know. It's sad, dude. I'm sorry. Steven. Well, he's, he doesn't uh, have a video like Trajan when he's in the League of Legends. Whoa! He put me on blast. <laughs> putting him on blast. No, because Trey, he is loud. I know yeah. when he's loud. <laughs> Steven, you're never loud. Well, I haven't been because, you know, I don't Even at the apartment, you were never loud. You'd have moments you're like, Urgh, this fucking game. But you keep it, you keep it tame. You're not loud. I get pretty aggressive, yeah, on League of Legends. But yeah. it gets, it gets personal. It's definitely point. something I gotta work on. Just trying to rage in a very safe environment when I play video games, yeah. specifically when we do let's plays. Because otherwise, I really don't. So I'm more like Steven in that case. I don't more like. Contained. It's not like I don't want it. Like I don't, I don't do it on purpose. I like I can correct myself because I realize like, hey, I'm actually yelling really loud. I should shut the fuck up. <laughs> but like sometimes, like dude, it gets League of Legends gets harsh, real fast. People will get salt, like throw salt straight in your eyes. I see it as more entertainment value, so I just kind of push myself to do it. But otherwise, I'm kind of gonna stay silent unless I did something like really stupid. Why is she like jerking her hands off? What? She's like. Like. Trey, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, you've never held a hamster. No. Not the way she's holding. Maybe she's holding more than just hamsters. <laughs> Shut up. God, Trey, <laughs> stop it. God, intern. Oh, what? shit. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. It, it's funny because Trey really has never held a hamster in his life. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> you've never held a small animal. You're I can so tell cute. just by that you've never held a small animal. Really? Yeah. It's I don't, like a really I don't dirty really anything small. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> God, you're worse than Steven right now. I, I'm, I'm done right now. I'm done. Gee, I don't even know what you're talking about. Over, oh, yeah. Uh, used to take I love T-Dog. <laughs> so, um, there's actually a pizza place that, like, David and I, like, earlier today went to just to get pizza. There's actually a pretty good pizza, like, in Beaumont. I forget what it was, but what it was called specifically. But it was, like, an actually nice balance, like, between, like, thin, like, crust and, like, a nice good portion of, like, of like toppings and stuff like that. That was really good. Wasn't too much? No, 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 no. It's like not enough. But yeah, like I don't know why I wanted to bring that up, but that was really cool. I think it's because you brought a pizza. Oh, I was about pizza. to say, Steven just brought a pizza. That's why. It's a pizza. Yeah. You remember pizza, you're like, mm. Caesar's Palace, yeah. It's a good thing that's not, not in range. We would have heard that and just started sprinting. You heard it? Deep down. Yeah. And I was like, I don't control myself. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish that uh, Anaya was more involved in these uh, videos. I know, right? Uh, I mean, it's whatever, because he has other things to do. He got, he's got priorities, so I won't blame him on that. Easy. At least he actually responds and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, unlike some people, who just kind <coughs> of look at you and like... I wonder who it is. <coughs> I, I don't know either, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> <laughs> he's jogging like you actually really know what's going on. <laughs> I was all coughing like I was about to say someone's name. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Mm. No. 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 I have nothing. So, uh... We should have Steven, like, um... Like, make a YouTube video where Steven does an impersonation of all the Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> be Caterpie. Caterpie. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of something like... Do Jinx. Actually, I got... I actually got Jinx on Pokemon Go right How now. How does Jinx sound like? What is, I don't even know what she sounds like. Jinx sounds like this. Do 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 do. Turn up with media. Do 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 do. do. There's, there's Jinx. All right. What? 
scary as fuck, right? What the heck? And that's what Jinx sounds like. That's a ringtone. All right, Steven, I want you to do Electabuzz. I don't have an Electabuzz. I have a Magmar. Yeah, I got a Magmar, too. Electabuzz is like a whole bunch of screeching. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, Tauros, too. I mean, I want Tauros. Of course, it's cool. I hatched it. Yeah, I, I um, hatched, hatched uh, Lapras and uh, what Jinx. The, what the... What the... What? You got the Vaporeon? Yeah. But I got Jolteon out, like, from a gas station. It was so weird. I, I got Water Weapon, Shocker... And Fee Liar. Okay. I like that sound. I like, I like people around. Yeah. The barn's cool. That's like all BGM. Like, uh, I guess we can talk about like, just like things about discussion thing. Uh, so, for the discussion thing, we uh, covered um, Show Mars beginning. Suicide Squad. There you go. Squad like, Squad. I feel Fuck like you. all these people are just random sound. Oh, Chichini. Oh. But, uh. Well, they make sounds that, you know. Animals make animals make random noises. I mean, it's not like they're gonna like call out. Dog. <laughs> That's like the same thing with dog barking versus dog saying. What does a fish sound like that? Have you ever heard a fucking whale before? Yes. Those things are horrid in terms of noise that they make. It's, it's kind of sounds like screeching, screaming, and singing all at the sound, same time. I mean, not everything sounds like this, Stephen. <laughs> I like how Pikachu is the only one that has his only thing. one. <laughs> Everyone else is just like burr, 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 burr. <laughs> perks to being, you know, the mascot. Could have been Clefairy. Clefairy. Doesn't hey. Charmander say the same thing though? He goes Charmander, Char, Char. That's the anime. Yeah, okay. and then in here it's like. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, they. Burr, burr. They make yeah. the noises cool. that they make in the game. Great like any, been like anyone's played the game before. More people have played the game than seen the show. I know. Uh, was part of my life, though. I think, I remember the first episode of Pokemon I watched. It was, uh, yeah, I had a Charmeleon at the time. And they were talking, like, they were interacting with, like, the Pokemon of the episode, which was Paris and Parasect. Alright, dude, I'm gonna be entirely honest. I don't ever remember Charmeleon being one of his Pokemon. I remember Charmander, and I remember Charizard. I was never there to see a Charmeleon the in no, all of the existence that he, I... He had Charmeleon as a Pokemon. No, I know, because Charmander had to right. evolve into it. Yeah. yeah it's just like I there was a don't Pokemon. remember that ever ever because being... Because Char Charmeleon is what gave Charizard his, his character. Yeah. Because remember yeah. how Charizard's all like, oh, fuck you, Ash, I don't want to do this. But Charmeleon is was the OG from. dick. Yeah. <laughs> Such an asshole. Charmeleon, yeah, he was the OG. I don't even know what happened. He had a spike right? cap. It's like, why? Like, what part of his evolution said, I'm gonna be a dick to Ash, the man who literally saved my life. Wow. And turned into Charizard. And then, he was a bigger dick. But then, like, in the Orange <laughs> Islands, he was like, oh, I got you, man. And he was totally cool from there. Yeah. I like how we're talking about Pokemon, and then it brings me back to when they made that re the animation of Fire Red and Leaf Green. You know when they made it into an anime, like a short anime? Origins? Oh, yeah, Pokemon Origins. Origins. Pokemon yeah. Origins. That, cool. that was the coolest Pokemon I've seen. Yeah. I was wish it? they I wish they made a, a side version of that instead of that B, that BS that they have right now, that mainstream Pokemon. Not really. Because uh, what they're going on so far, the animation is pretty top. Or at least it's, it's really cool to look at. I mean, yeah, they, I'm, I'm pretty sure the animation is pretty cool. But like, Origins... Just the feel of it, it was more centered for people like us, like 20 year olds. I guess so, yeah. And the animation at the time was pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Like well, when, when It was really good because it was an OVA. They put more funding into it. Yeah. yeah. It's like the difference between a movie I guess, and a show. I guess I'm really thinking about like the character designs like throughout. Like how like the interaction and stuff. Sand Slash. Oh, shoot, we should really talk about that, too. What? The new Alan forms. Of, like, some oh, the, yeah. Alola forms? Yeah, the Alola forms. Yeah. That, should, man, that, that freaking, uh, the Alola Charizard that I showed you earlier. Wait, what is it? Dude, I'll, that I'll see if I can oh, find it. Sleep. Okay. All right. Steve. All right, Steven. Hey, nice, Steve. Okay. I'll fucking pull it up freaking right now. Freaking Alola Executor is higher than life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Alolan Executor is like... By and, and he's a dragon! Of all the types to give him, dragon is Yeah, because, you know, why not? Like, we don't have enough grass dragons. What should we do about that? Just make more grass dragons. Yeah, just fucking make Executor I like... I think there's only two, and, like, one's just a mega form. Yeah. 
Yeah, like Septile. Septile, yeah. And you remember that? And not Slipknot. Who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good. <coughs> Had me going for a bit. But, um, yeah, also, I do like how they're bringing, going back to, like, older Pokemon and, like, giving them new forms. And it kind of just makes sense because it's, like, a new entire environment. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, you see, like, yeah, I see, like, Santru and, like, Volpix and, like, their, like, own environments in Kanto and stuff like that. But then, when they're placed in a different environment, obviously, they're going to change. They're going to adapt. Man. They do the Darwinism. I've seen a few, like, memes of, like, Charizard versus, like, Alwa Executor. It's too funny. What I heard is that, um, the Diglett one. <laughs> <laughs> the Magnemite one. Yeah. Golbat looks natural to me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually Golbat, like, what's happy. But, uh, yeah, I do like the new forms for, uh, Santru, Sandslash. It's and actually pretty cool. And then I heard, what I heard from reading was that, um, those forms are always going to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. So like when you when you take Executor, or not Executor, what's the what's the first one called? Uh, ex- execute. execute and, and it you, evolves. And evolve it, it in a Loa, a Loa, it's going to turn to that that form. That's cool. And the only way to get the regular Executor is to like trade it outside. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool and it totally makes sense too. It's just like them adapting to the environment, which yeah. is really cool. Which about is the, yeah, that's cool. That's cool the new typings tell. for Santru. I can't really say I'm a big fan of like the. The secondary typing for uh, Sandshrew Sandslash being steel. It makes sense. But that's so much quad damage. Yeah, to quad, deal with. quad at the butt. That's like fire, fighting. Ground. That's just that's more than enough to just like just knock them down like dead. And most of those champs are used a lot. I mean not champs, I'm return. I mean um types. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so sad. It's I think cool- I think I'm gonna buy myself the three DS and play that Pokemon. It's really interesting right now. Trey, what's that uh, 3DS down there, though? The original? Oh, that's broken. Oh, right, right. Okay. Keep forgetting about that. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, definitely like Vulpix typing. It's like first yeah. ice and then it becomes ice fairy. Ice fairy. For whatever reason, you know. And it looks yeah. cool. It looks like Vulp- or it looks like Ninetales, but it's not. Yeah, it's, it's a different design. Like Vulpix and Alwa and then Vulpix regulars are pretty similar. <coughs> slightly different by the hair. Yeah, Nine Tails is like, like the the Vulpix in Alola looks more like snow as opposed right. to fur. Right, and then Nine Tails is like, oh look at all these. I hope there's gonna be more Pokemon like that. Yeah. I'm more than certain that they're gonna release more and more. Because mm-hmm. it couldn't be just because that. It, it it naturally feels like that's how Pokemon should go. Yeah, you're in a whole different app. And for the most part, it. And for the most part, it kind of was like that because um, people were people would say a lot like uh, with Pidgey and all that. You'd only find Pidgey in uh, red, blue, yellow, and green, and then you'd only find uh, like um, Taylo. Yeah, Taylo or like uh, Hootoot maybe. Hoot-hoot. Well, uh, not Hootoot. No, no, no. Um, the like the, the small the small bird yeah, Pokemon. Like the Quetzal thing. Starly, 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 yeah, yeah, Starly. Raptor. Uh, whichever one was the freaking pigeon looking one in oh, X and uh, Y. X and Y, or, uh, no, Yeah, he's actually like the legit pigeon. Yeah. Padove, I think. Yeah, yeah Padove. And then you have um, More like the. the um, what does Padove evolve into? Unfazan. Padove. Unfazan, I remember. Info- yeah, 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 I remember too. Well, I can't really remember that. that. I can't remember the I can't remember the bird Pokemon from uh, Kanto, like Spiro. No, Kanto is Pidgey, and Johto is like arguably like Uchu mm-hmm. Knocked Owl, and then you know yeah. uh, Hoenn region is Taillow Swellow. Yeah, them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just said that. So guy. yeah, yeah. So what's it called? That was one thing that people would say too is that there is always different birds in different areas. You wouldn't find them in the same, in the same regions. Yeah. So maybe they, yeah, they could be like from the same family, yeah. which is like completely adapted. I think Starly is like the, maybe the top of it. So you think you might we might see like alternate like birds Pokemon like kind of going to the Alola region? Well, they did show those different uh, Lolo region birds. Well, wait, they already have like a bird Pokemon already established yeah. now. 
So maybe not. Mm. But that doesn't mean they can't change it for other. Would be really crazy if they had like old starters in new forms. That'd be cool. That'd be crazy. However, not like Blastoise. Not like Blastoise. Not like Blastoise. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Like Blastoise is already enough. I can't. I don't. Why did? Why did he grow two cannons and then they just form into one cannon? Because one cannon is... And why did he grow cannons on his wrists? Okay, no. I, I, will, I will give the cannons on his wrists. They could just come out of there. Why did he grow shells on his wrists? Makes oh no God. sense. That's Mega Evolution Blastoise. Why does he have shells on his wrists? Fuck it, you know? Because sometimes you just need you need the third one. The third one has to come from, from okay, somewhere. Okay, what's the difference between this one? Does he just have that flower patch on his head? It's, 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 a, a, it's, bigger, a, it's a bigger palm, too. Uh, yeah, it's a bigger palm tree. And then the flower, and then Mega Charizard Y is just like that. He has the more European dragon look yeah. to him. And then and if you go Charizard there, X is, yeah. Except how it makes sense. And then Swamper, it's like, alright. Man. Sheer and Meg Legskin's like, Jesus Christ, calm down. <laughs> alright, but this is actually a pretty good stopping point for the uh, podcast episode. But yeah, um. We kind of went everywhere. Yeah, we really went everywhere, and I totally fu- I'm totally, i totally fine with that now. It's more personal. And I like that. Yeah, just go with the flow of things. Go with the flow. I mean, it's like, if you want to. Like, Who was the Firebird? What Firebird? Oh, that Firebird? One. This yeah. one? Torchic. Or Torchic? Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that one. That was a. This little Red Runner looking thing? Which one's from that? That's X Is and that y. black and white? X That's and Y. Gen 4, 6? Gen 6. That's yeah, X Gen and 6. Y? Yeah. Yeah, X and Y. That's Fletchling and Talonflame. They look And then they got Fletchender as the middle. Who's um? Who's the one in black and white? Uh, Bidove. Bidove. Oh, Bidove. Okay. To. I forget the middle one, but it's also on Kazam. Alright. I like Kazam? Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Alright. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Dang Podcast. My name is Justin. I'm Gabe. And I'm, uh, well, Steven's been asleep, but I'm the intern. Hey, thanks for watching. Hashtag bye. Bye. Wait, wait, um, there's Woo, a- we did it. See.